Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Happy Maritime Christmas Vlogmas video. <laughs> I just came downstairs. I just made my coffee and I'm a zombie right now. I just wanted to start this day off to say good morning to you. And I don't know what this day is going to be like, but the kids are going to go to school. Um, yeah, I hit snooze. It's one of those mornings I had to hit snooze a few times, but I was up a couple times in the night. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, get on our day here in a little bit but I'm gonna down my coffee and yeah get my wheels moving all right friends it's 7:35. Maze is up and dressed we just have his jacket over the vent with the furnace going so it warms up after that's done we're gonna go jump in the van which I turned on and scraped off so it's warm when we get out there but look at this winter wonderland it snowed last night not great big amounts but Oh, it looks good. Looks good. Magical almost. I'm just making my son a coffee, my teenager, Marquise, a coffee. And trying to entice him to get his butt out of bed so he can catch the bus. So, yeah, he does like himself some coffee. But, oh, there's a bird flying. Anyways, I just thought you guys would like to see the winter wonderland we're surrounded by. In the frosty air. Guys, I got Maze dropped off. I'm just at the big W. I got some printer ink so I can start printing off things. <laughs> and uh, I need to print off those two labels because I have a couple things to send back from uh, Amazon. So I'm going to do that today. And yeah, I thought we'll just kind of look around here, see what I can see without any pressure. And hi. And yeah. We'll see. Well, I just found this mix and mold stepping stone thing, you know, that clay model you can put your hand print in. Um, yeah, and there's enough for four, so I'm thinking I might do this with the kids, like the Misha, Maze, uh, Mally, Maziah. I should get another one because I'd like Abby to do one and he could give one to his mom and one to his dad for Christmas. Yeah, it's like 13 bucks, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I can't help it. I don't need any of this stuff, but it's neat to come look at all the neat, interesting decoration. There's Jack, Spider-Man, all the Frozen, there's Sally. Cute, cute. Oh, there's a little witch. Wicked witch. Cute. All these. Oh, what does he do? Looks like his nose spins. Oh, the battery must be dead. Anyways, I'm just going to take a gander. I got, yeah, that. And cartridge. Yeah, that's good enough. Look at these bathroom sets. I'd like to get one for downstairs, but... See, we have those big toilets. Like, they're not regular sized toilets. They're up high and the seat's big. I know that wouldn't fit. But, ah well cute anyways little soap dispensers I'll get some at the dollar store but these are cute I'm not going there today to get them but I need to get some Christmassy soap pumps pump soaps you know what I'm saying oh and I love tablecloths nice oh I bought these I think almost everyone except for that one last year after Christmas now what one? one? One of them I got, the arm fell off, and I was going to try to glue it, but if I can find it here, because I got enough for all the kids. Now that I know that they're back, I'm going to um, make sure I find out what one, and I can just replace it. And this holiday season, they can have their hot chocolate and stuff out of it.
Alright guys, I'm just at the computer trying to print off that Amazon label. My printer seems to be having an attitude problem today. But look at outside. Makes me smile. Looks nice. Those labels printed off finally. Come on, I've been fighting with this fire too, but it's starting to go now. Oh, there, that's good. We need to get it toasty in here. I want to straighten up down here a bit. Um, oh, that desk yesterday, Misha did that puzzle on. My husband and son brought it up to our bedroom so my husband can work up there on storm days and stuff like that. They just shuffled the puzzle over here. I'll probably take it apart and put it in the box so she can do it again. She really enjoyed that yesterday. Really nice. Anyways, I'm going to straighten up down here. I was just chit-chatting with my good friend Courtney from Gator Girl 22 She has a YouTube channel too, but she's on pause for now too. But Oh, I just love her. Love her. Love her. But, yeah, I'm going to... Um, yeah, it's not too bad, but I want to get Angus going. I meant to get him going yesterday, but I just didn't didn't get a chance to. There's just some a few things here on the floor, those little magnet things. and Playing with the cash register, pair of socks, Tonka truck. Yes, yeah. Oh, while I was in town to Walmart and got that ink cartridge, I got these candles. They're Glade, you know, this apple cinnamon nutmeg candles. I got these too, just headbands for the girls. But yeah, I want it to smell a little more Christmassy around here. So I'm going to wipe the table off, just the breakfast crumbs. Um, and I'm going to light one of these candles while I wrap up the parcels to return. And we might take a spin down to the post office because I want to get those out of my hair while I can. All right, it's 10.04. I just got them wrapped. I taped the labels on the underside. And we're going to take a spin down the hill to the post office. So these will be out of the house, out of my mind, out of my hair, you know what I mean? And yeah, that'll be good to go. Turned. Exciting. Oh, it's not too cold out. It's like minus one or something. But that's not too bad. Let's just take a look at the river over here real quick. Oh, well, the tide's down. Oh, the water sounds nice. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that goose. They're like needing geese, goose, you know what I'm saying. It's just slowly coming in, slowly coming in. Beautiful. You know, sometimes when the tide's up, it's almost to the very bottom of that bridge, like it's almost touching. But beautiful, beautiful. Just talking to Medea while well, I'm messenger. Ooh. Oh, my husband brought me some gloves from Costco the other day, so I can actually peel potatoes now without tearing my hands apart because they make my hands so itchy. But yeah, anyway, she's busy doing stuff. She works today, but uh, Abby's not coming over today. And I thought I had to take Manly to Halifax. Uh, for Friday and I had rented uh, Airbnb for tomorrow because she has that follow-up dentist appointment uh, at nine o'clock in the morning I just called the dentist office just to confirm the appointment and I guess it's not till Monday so I sent the Airbnb 
person a big apology and hopefully it's not too much or too too close to get a refund it was like $55 for it was a tiny home a, a tiny house that we had rented right in the city and uh, it's cheaper than a hotel that's for sure and I thought it would be neat we could go up and do what we did before but um, yeah anyways I'm just waiting to hear back from that I don't, I'm so glad I called I'd hate to have gone all the way up there to find out it's not her appointment time sounds like something I would do anyways <laughs> so yes yeah the fire's going good um, I just put a load of laundry in a little while ago it's done I gotta take that out and dry it and I have another load to put in well I probably have a couple loads I'm washing some bedding today so get that going it's 10 48 in the morning I'm so glad I got that stuff mailed off it was a couple of presents I got from Isha but I ended up getting her something else and um, yeah I think she'll like better so that's back that saves me a bit, bit of pocket money so it's all good but I'm thinking I'm gonna do my husband went to the grocery store yesterday he brought back some hamburger and some pork chops I think I'm gonna do the pork chops and I want to try those on the grill just so I can see how they turn out I found the steak turned out good the burgers turn out good those sausages turned out good um, now I'm gonna try some pork the only thing I haven't tried was chicken now and uh, I mean I'm sure there's lots of stuff I can do veggies and all that stuff on there but uh, I'm gonna do the potatoes on the wood stove and um, I'll put you down so you can see what I'm doing I'm not the greatest potato peeler um, and I always use a knife I can't use a peeler I find it's too awkward and yeah I end up cutting some of the potato off you guys are probably flinching at that but that's just how I do I do me and then the rest goes in the compost so it goes back to feed the earth you know but yeah I'll get these rinsed I'm gonna put them on the back of the stove so they slowly heat up and then this afternoon I'll put them on the wood fire like full-on wood fire I don't cut my potatoes up either I know some people peel them and cut them up in small chunks I don't if they're big potatoes I'll cut them in half but it doesn't make a difference to me um, and I could do the pork chops on the wood stove too but I just want to try them on the grill and I won't have to use my stove today and the grill I find always seems to cook things way faster than they would on the stove top and pork doesn't take long to cook at all so I'll do that up quick I think it will take maybe 10 minutes or something I don't know I didn't look at the pork but if it has a bone in it we'll see it might take a little longer but I'll get that going I'll probably get that going before I even go get maize so everything will be all done um, so when we get back it's easy just to divvy it out and I have like canned veggies down in the basement I'm just gonna pop the top on one or two of those and I can have potatoes veggies and um, pork that's not bad there's some pickles some mustard pickles still open in the fridge from the other day when we had that roast beef dinner they could have some of those if they want but <clears throat> yeah we'll see we'll see I really want to start wrapping presents but oh I meant to turn Angus on I straightened up you know picked up the stuff I forgot to turn them on I'll have to turn them on after I'm done this um, I really want to wrap presents like I really enjoy wrapping presents I would bring a whole bunch down and sit on the living room floor and watch a movie I think last year I did that a few times and just wrapped to my heart's content I'm close to being done Chris Christmas shopping like Misha's done Maze is done Maziah's almost done I need to get Mally a few more things I got her some well I can't say because I'm scared that it'll get back to her so she's not a big toy person anymore you know so I gotta get her some bigger thing, bigger people things. We'll see. 
Um, and of course, Santa Claus will take care of the stocking. And I had picked up some stuff on clearance last year after Christmas for people. Stuff that wouldn't go bad or anything. So I could wrap that. And that'll save a nice bit of money this year. Do you guys like wrapping presents? Not everybody does. I'm not a very good wrapper. I don't go all out and make it all fancy, but it's fun to me. Um, my friend Velva used to get me, and uh, I think my sister-in-law came one time, and we went and wrapped all her presents. This was years ago, because she didn't like wrapping presents. <laughs> it was fun. And... My mother-in-law would do that, a gift wrapping party. She'd have food and hot chocolate, and we'd just go and sit and wrap presents for her. Fun. Fun times. Oh, I'll do a good pot of potatoes. These kids like potatoes. That one I'll cut in half. Yeah, I can't believe December's flying by. Oh, and I feel like I have still so much to do. I haven't done any baking yet. Um, I want to do, like, meals. So this, you know, during the Christmas break when the kids are home off of school, they're off for, like, 12 days or so. Um, I won't have to make a whole lot of great big meals for breakfast. I want to do a big batch of homemade waffles. Um, I have a couple of pancake mixes in the pantry. I do those up and freeze them. They can just pop them in the toaster or heat them in the microwave, and they're good to go. Um, so we'll see if I get around to all of that. But I'm just taking it day by day, day by day. I did get that hand clay thing from Walmart. I only got one. I might end up picking up another one. We'll see. Um because I think that would be fun, a fun craft for the kids. I've, I'm sure we'd have to get them to do the handprint one day, and then another day we would uh, paint them, just because they probably have to dry and stuff. I've never done that before. So I just thought that was a neat little kit. Keeps it simple. And we'll have a lasting handprint of the kids when they're this age. Why not? Okay, I'll do one more. This is a biggie. But, yeah, and I haven't watched nearly as many Christmas shows as I'd like. Read lots of Christmas kid books, though. So that's fun. The kids are really enjoying the cozy. Um full of toys right now. I <laughs> just cleared the floor with all those Christmas stuffies. I just threw them in the cozy. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a well-loved tr tradition, I think. Evie hasn't seen it yet, though. He hasn't been here in a few days. I feel a little lost, to be honest, but I think he's really going to like it. He's a perfect little size. There, I gotta rinse these. That's a good amount of potatoes. You guys all like potatoes. And uh, I'm just gonna set them on the back of the stove, so I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, just bringing in some firewood from the porch. Oh. <clears throat> I know there's still some wood in here, but I just wanna make sure it Things going good. I won't be able to fit all this wood in here, I don't think. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a big sucker down here on the floor. The draft's open. I leave the door open a little bit. It's locked. It's, it can't open, but there's a little little bit there so I can get it nice roaring fire. I have the potatoes up there. 
just on the back of the stove. Got my big teapot kettle on there filled with water so the air doesn't get too dried out in here. And yeah, I'm gonna go check that laundry. All right, dryer's going, washer's going. I just hung up a couple towels. I'm gonna get Angus going. Let me just shove this blanket in here. Oh. There we go. And he can come out to play. Do -do -do -do. So I picked up. Oh, I gotta get that little boat that's under here. There. And I just picked up those things there, the little bag, those magnetic things go in. I can't find it, so I picked the coffee table up, so and I put that little rocker there because sometimes he goes in there and tries to play with the cords. He wants the TV on, and I'm just like, just to avoid that, he won't. He won't be able to. I do need to uh, put a block in front of the kitchen door, though, and I lifted up that movie box that was here so he can get all got all around here. I'll just straighten this table up and he can do his thing. While I'm on a roll, I might as well get my dishes going. All right, Angus is going. It is 11.25. I'm gonna have my green drink. I'm working my way through my Organifi and I always put collagen peptides in it. It's from beef, grass-fed, pasture-raised. Yeah, I just put a cup of, uh, like a scoop of each in it, fill it with cold water, give it a shake, and down the hatch. All right, I just unloaded my phone while Angus was down here working. I think he's under the couch now, but he's doing a good job. I have my drink, and yeah, my video's all edited up until right now. Um, I'm going to go dig out the grill and start doing those pork chops. I was just getting stuff ready, and I heard error. He wants to play with Maze's sword. Well, the little thing the sword goes in. There you go, bud. Back to work. All right, here's the packs of pork, 481 and 540. So I'm gonna take them out, prep them. I'm just putting salt and pepper on these bad boys. I see there's a lot of fat. I might try to trim some of the fat off there. Uh, this will probably take two or three rounds on the grill. I'm putting it at 220 just like I was doing steak it says six to eight minutes so we'll give it a whirl it's just heating up now four minutes left so all right guys there's the first round I'm gonna set my timer it's 12 10 I trimmed a lot of the fat off big old chunks so yeah I could fit three on this round you know, some of them are bigger than others, but yeah, we'll get this get this going. It's been eight minutes. Ooh, looks good. I'm gonna have to take one off and cut it open though to see how it looks on the inside. I cut open a couple, and there's it's not pink at all. It's not like overdone. It's just right. I think it's gonna be nice and tender, or well, like juicy. And yeah, I'm gonna stick this in the microwave just with the door shut till I'm done. Or no, I'll stick it in the oven uh, just to keep it warm until the rest of them are done. I have three more on the grill now, and then I have four more to do. The third batch of meat's going. Just rotated the laundry. I got some more towels to hang up, and one more batch of meat to do. All right, towels hung, and Angus just got done. It's looking good, bud. Looking good. Perfect, perfect. Yes, I took some dry towels out of the bathroom to hang up the wet ones. I need to fold those and they'll be brought upstairs, but yeah, I still haven't cleaned this table off, but I will. But out here's all done. Perfect. Put those potatoes on. They're bubbling. They're bubbling. I think I'm going to put them back on the back of the stove. They'll still continue to cook, but they just won't cook quite as fast. I just wanted to make sure I get them started. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, it's the Leaning Tower of Pork Chops. <laughs> Should have got a bigger container of some sort, but they are all cooked. You can see the juices are just dripping, like they're really, really juicy. 
Um, I'm going to cover this with foil just like this. Stick it in the oven. Oh, I have to shut my timer off. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to go to town here in a little bit. All right, fancy, huh? It's about quarter after one. I took the potatoes right off the wood stove and just set them on the electric stove. Uh, they're three quarters of the way done. They might finish cooking just in that hot water. But I need to go in and get maize, but I'm coming in a little bit early. I want to stop to Frenchies and see if I can find some hats and gloves and stuff for the kids. Because you can get them at the dollar store, but they're not the greatest. And you can get them at Walmart, but they're kind of pricey. I just want to go see what they have. Uh, sometimes you can get really good stuff at Frenchies. <clears throat> and since it's starting to snow more often, they can just be ones for the house, you know, bumbling around outside. Because once they go outside and play, they get wet and they got to dry. And I just want to have extras. Uh, extras for the kids. So, I'm just buckling up there. So, let's go to town. Alright guys, I made it to Frenchies. We'll go in and have a quick little gander and then we'll go get Maze. I'm at Maze of School. I got quite a few hats at Frenchies. I only got one pair of gloves, like grown-up gloves. Um, they didn't really have any kid gloves, so I'll have to get some of those. But at least I got some hats. I'll take them home and wash them. I'll show you. And I picked up some movies. They had a whole bunch of DVDs there. I had to walk away or I would have filled them up. But I got like eight movies or something. I'll show you those when we get home, too. I'm about ten minutes early, but I'm going to get them. I think I'm going to get a coffee, so he'll probably want a donut or Timbits or something. But that's all good. I'll go home and strain those potatoes, mash them up, and uh, yeah, pop the top on a couple of home canned veggies. Put those on the wood fire just to warm up because they're already cooked. Oh, I don't know if this door's locked. They lock the school doors. Yeah, we'll check this door over here. And this might be locked too. Not. I'm gonna start banging on the door. We'll try to flag somebody down. Yeah, I thought they might be outside today. It's cold, but it's not freezing out. I do have a pair of snow pants at uh, with Mays at school, just in case they do go outside. But yeah, there's no snow on the ground here. I didn't even think to. I didn't notice at our house. There might be a little bit left. <sighs> oh, wonderful. No, nope, I'm going to go back to the other door and try to flag somebody down. Had a good day. He has his ninja hat on to keep nice and warm when we go outside. And the Christmas tree. Did you see where the elf is today? I don't know where it is. Yeah, he's in the bathroom pistol. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, they have an elf here at the school. The Santa one. He was watching it, but he had an accident. He got stuck. Oh, did he get yeah. stuck? Oh, jeez. Look at that lost and found. That's a full one. All right. What? There else. We're at, at Tim's. May says he wants Timbits because he wants to share with his sisters. Thought that was awfully nice of him. All right, we're home. Well, most of the snow out front is gone. Most of it. But I think out back the snow's still there. It just depends on where the sun is. Guys, it's 20 after 2. We just got home. I got May settled out there. He's finishing off his Timbits. Um, just strain the potatoes. Cut off a hunk of butter. When I drop it in, put the lid on it, leave it for a few minutes, and then I'll whip it up. All right, guys. While we're letting that butter melt, I'm going to finish off my coffee. And I'll show you what I got at Frenchies. I bought movies I didn't really need to buy, but... They were only a dollar. Yeah, I got a bunch. <laughs> oh well. I bought The Rescuers Part 1 and 2. Um, yeah, Disney movie collection. I checked all these too to make sure they weren't all scratched up or anything. But yeah, a buck. Couldn't go wrong. I've seen this one. It's like four western movies i'm gonna give that to dad for christmas like i usually do a little stocking kind of thing for him i'm gonna wrap that up and put it in he likes western movies got this from marquise he loves family guy he's seen every single last episode but on netflix at least here in canada they don't have the earlier seasons 
they have the later seasons. So this is season one and two. I'm going to give that to him when he gets home. I got Beauty Shop. Wallace and Gromit. Messiah loves these kind of movies. Loves them. Got 9 to 5. The old 9 to 5. Nine to five. I was thinking of my sister-in-law. Um, anyways, uh, I thought she might like that. It's a good movie, but if she want, wants it, she can have it. Trapped in Paradise. It's like a Christmassy movie. National Treasure. I already have one of these. Polar Express, but I couldn't I couldn't leave it there. Just in case it ever gets scratched or anything. A buck. Polar Express. And I got Barbershop 2. Yeah. Not too shabby. Now, what I intentionally went... Oh, I found a couple other treasures too. I could not resist. I don't generally buy stuffies or anything there. But look who was waving at me in the bins. Raggedy Ann and Andy. I have a set of Raggedy Ann and Andy up in Misha's room, up in her closet, sitting on the shelf. How awesome. And they're in great shape. They're three bucks each. And uh, yeah, classic, classic. I'm not going to throw those in the washer. I don't know what I'll do. I might um, wipe them down really good, spray them or something like that. They're more of a decoration than for play. Unless they want to play with them, they can. But we'll see. And I got a whole bunch of hats. And a pair of gloves. Now I can wear them or I'll wear them. The gloves I got, those leather kind of gloves. I don't know, is it real leather? Oh, they're from Nordstrom. That's a fancy store, isn't it? They're size large. Didn't even try them on, but I'm thinking in the bitter, bitter winter when I'm driving, going out to scrape off the van. Not too shabby. These were all 75 cents each. So this one is, I don't care about name brands, but I'm just going to tell you anyways. This is North Face. I thought this was a cool one, uh, Columbia. It's like, you know, a funny hat. Winter hat though, just a straight up simple, what's this one? Dakine, I don't know, D-A-K-I-N-E. I don't know if they're brands, they just South Pole. Here's another one. I had to get this one. Butterfly. This little one has a bow on it. This is a just a plain simple one. And I don't know what it spells health, but it must stand for some company or something. Yeah, that's what I got. These are going directly in the washing machine. I got myself a pair of jeans too. Just some blue jeans. So they can go in the wash too. And that's what I got. So not too bad. The kids don't have school tomorrow. It's a, I don't know, in service of some sort. So I don't have to pack lunches, which is great. So yeah, I'll throw these in the wash. And then we'll start working with those potatoes. So I'll be back. Wait, there they are. I forgot to add salt to the water when I cooked the potatoes. So I just added some when I whipped them up. Hey. Hey. And uh, I'm just going to put the cover on it and set it over there. i got to get some veggies from the basement. All right, corn and beans. Oh, yeah, you can see down there. There's still a little snow, but, yeah, it's warmed up a bit. Well, the girls are going to be here in a minute. I'm going to start cutting up some pieces of pork. I'm just going to nuke those vegetables in the microwave. And the potatoes are all ready to be scooped out, so this way I can cut up Misha's and Mazes, and uh, I can just easily get them all out at the same time. All right, I ended up cutting up all the meat. Well, for the girls, anyways, and, and Maze. So that's Mazes, Mazaya's, Misha's, and Mally's. So, yeah, there's still lots of meat left. Yeah. I'm probably going to have a piece of that. I won't have the other stuff, mm -hmm. but, yeah, I'll have a piece of that. <clears throat> all right guys well i'm ending this video now it's after 10 o'clock i just got done watching the king's men part two i never seen part one but it was pretty good uh with my husband and the kids are still roaming i need to go put them to bed <laughs> 
it's just like five after no, uh, after ten or something. So they go to bed at nine o'clock if they're not asleep. Well, Maze is asleep. Misha's asleep. Mally's still up. I'm not sure about Mazaya. I haven't seen her or heard her. But yeah, it's just one of those nights. So yeah. Anyways, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, yeah. Well, I wanted to end this video now and get it edited and uploaded so I can start on tomorrow's vlog and stick with the whole maritime Christmas vlogmas thing. So, all right, guys. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.